I'm Dan Watson. I'm the Tlutawale head coach for the past seven seasons. Last season ended in a disappointment, quite frankly. The Florida Everblades are Kelly Cup champions! We were expecting to win the championship. I hate losing more than I like winning. So in the end, I want to come back, and I, I don't want to have that taste in my mouth again. Having a wonderful time. And we really want to bring a, a Kelly Cup championship to the city of Toledo. The fans deserve it. We want to win for the city, for sure. Not only the city, but we want to win for ourselves. Give ourselves that identity as winners of everything. With 12 returning players, uh, the motivation is extremely high. To be a part of that team that could potentially bring that back to this city, that's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to come back. The city of Toledo, uh, the, the fans are so great and everybody here is so supportive of us. To win for the city would just mean the world to me. To win at this level in the ECHL, it's extremely hard. This is the NHL of the East Coast League. Bitter rivals with Fort Wayne, Cincinnati, Kalamazoo. Our division's a bear. And when you play 55 plus games in your division, it's a battle every single night. And the first goal is to become a team as fast as we can, which means we need the players to connect. You put a uh, conditioner in today? Yeah, I did. Look yeah. good? Yeah, really good. We need them to trust and respect each other. I will hit you. I don't care. And play for each other. Ah! We missed. I think for a tryout player to make a team at this level, we need to see what they do best. So our message to those guys is mean, do what you do, do it the best way possible, make a great impression, and let's see where the chips fall. Hi, I'm Joey Sofo. I'm from Sylvania, Ohio, and this is my first professional season. Tremendous effort, right? And a tremendous result, yes? Nothing's free, boys. There's not a goddamn thing in this life that's free. Get up in the morning, attack the day. When I told my family, some of my family cried. So <laughs> that's uh, that's how that went. <laughs> want to run fast? Run by yourself. You want to run far? Run together. Yes. Here we are in Toledo, Ohio, for the 2022-23 Toledo Walleye training camp. I'm obviously super excited about the, the chance to put on the walleye jersey. I was talking to my parents, just kind of laughing about how much I moved all over, away from them and far away from my family, just to play the game of hockey. And now I'm taking the next step in my career at like a really high level, and I'm just right in my backyard here in Toledo. So um, yeah, the whole family's coming to watch. I don't know, getting this opportunity is like a dream come true. Joey Sofo is going to have an excellent experience here in Toledo during training camp. Ready, down! He's going to get an opportunity to play two exhibition games, try to make the team. I think it's important to try to allow these guys that opportunity to try out for their hometown team. This is my Super Bowl. <laughs> That's what I keep telling people. As a staff, we take great pride in, in trying to learn our people. You know, they are people first. They're not just hockey players. There's so many guys who have, like, been there, done that on this team. It's not embarrassing the organization. I'm just like this rookie who's coming out of his college season, and, um, you know, you just got guys like Hawk. This is Brandon Hawkins with Toledo Walleye. I need your Super Bowl prediction. Joey B by a million, baby. Come on. You heard it here first. Brandon Hawkins, Macomb, Michigan. So you were the top scorer in the playoffs last season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in season. And in season, yeah. yeah. Last year was by far the best year of my career. Brandon Hawkins pulling out the Michigan move on his former team. You're probably going to see that one on Sports Center tonight. The first time I saw Brandon Hawkins shoot the puck, I think my jaw dropped. I do fun things. Brandon Hawkins, obviously a right shot forward who can score goals. And that's primarily his job, is provide offense for us. The lineup up front, Hawkins with a steal and a shot, he scores! Hawk does everything he can to be here for us as a team. And he's paid to come here, he's paid to score goals, he knows his role, and he does his job every night. I grew up in a roller hockey rink. My love of the game is what keeps me going. He cannot get enough ice time, whether it's during games, whether it's practice, whether it's off days. Secretly, secretly, who do you think is tougher, you or your brother? Do you think you'd beat him up? Let's go. Yeah? yeah. yeah. That's really good that I'm mic'd up and he's going to hear this. Yeah. I try to live by a motto, Paradise Every Day. It's on my hat. Uh, it's my best friend created it. We go by no bad days, so the second I get to come in here and, and I get to play a game for money, you'll never hear me complain, especially the game that I love as much as I do. That way, Daddy! He shows up to the rink every single day with a smile on his face, and that can become infectious inside that locker room. Come on, do I sneak by other hairball? The reason that, that this season means the most is it's a revenge tour. 
we've put together a great team. We've added some different puzzle pieces that'll that'll really create a, a winning mindset and a winning team. So I think it'll be big for us. Up, slam, down. Who's more of a fan favorite, you or Frazier? I mean, I got four years under my belt where I wasn't here, so that just built up the right, but, but people more. people were just as excited that you signed than anyone else. I mean, I'll take that. We're, we're the best friends that anyone could have. Uh, if I can call you a best friend, it's a good day. Simone Denis from British Columbia. Uh, he spent two years with us previously in a leadership role his second year. So for the past four seasons, I've been playing overseas in the Asia League. Uh, I had the pleasure of playing in South Korea for one season and Japan for three years. Growing up half Japanese, I've got my mother's side of the family over there. So to get to play in front of them, it was the first time my grandfather ever got to see me play. It was very special for me and my family. Um, once we knew that my wife was going to be pregnant, we were going to have our first child. We had determined that we wanted to come back to North America. And, you know, when that happened right away, my first call was to, to Wadi. Uh, probably one of the easiest phone calls, recruiting phone calls I've ever had uh, to say yes. For him to come back, uh, what a presence he is inside that locker room and in our community. To come back and be welcomed by the fans, it just means everything to me. Extremely excited uh, that you guys were to vote for me for the Fanatics exclusive bobblehead. I, I can't wait to see it. I can't believe you guys actually voted for me. And our son's nine months old now, uh, so little Griffin is, he's getting bigger and every single day it's something new, whether he's crawling and now he's teething. And I think you definitely get a whole different appreciation for the city. Just to make these memories, I can't wait for them to be there for opening night and my son, you know, just to see him on the glass or see him in the stands, knowing he's there and knowing my wife's there, it's just, uh, it's just very special. <laughs> we're ecstatic that he's back and we're going to be able to see Denis number nine back on the ice again. Cleared on a shot, he missed it now a little bit of a collision Boeing and Cairns and it's a wrestling match down in front it's a full-on strong Fraser unloading on that Cairns who's got his gloves off Cairns doesn't Fraser continues it and all hell breaking loose in the Toledo center Cole Fraser from Ontario uh, big rugged tough defenseman but one thing you you always love about Cole is he wears his heart on his sleeve it's definitely important to me to be there to be able to step up for my teammates when they need me it gives them a sense of, um, you know, safeness and security to have someone on the ice that's willing to go uh, and fight for them and protect them. Frazier led the league in penalty minutes a year ago. You need someone that, that creates that little bit of a tremble in another team. The game polices itself when you have guys that play like that, and he plays that role extremely well, so it, it really helps us. The game's changed a lot, and you don't have to fight as much, but when I need to be there for my teammates, I'll protect them. Thrown right on, and that is deflected away. Now look out of here. Now we're going to have the gloves down again, and this time it's Cole Frazier. Frazier caught him with a couple of left. At 23 years old, he still has room to grow in his game. You know, I'm young. Um, my ultimate goal would be to try to get to the NHL, but, you know, my base goal is just to be myself, be my player identity, the identity that I know I am, and play the role that I'm given and then go from there. Why did Matt Stafford leave the Lions? Because they stink. It's my team. <laughs> my name's John Albert. I, I've played 11 years pro. John Albert, obviously native of Ohio in the Cleveland area. He's a leader. It's That's exactly why he's here, is to be a leader on and off the ice. His experience at the NHL level, the American level, being a captain, everything that it took for him to get to the NHL, he can share with our younger group of guys. The way I try to lead by example, uh, more importantly, I think just being close to the guys, getting to know everybody at a, at a personal level, uh, just try to love and have fun with everybody. I think his uh, veteran leadership is definitely a big part of this team. He's seen it from the NHL, the AHL, Europe, ECHL. He's seen all of it, so he brings that, that maturity and that, that level of knowledge to the team. The lessons I've learned and I try to tell my teammates is, is always to stay positive. I, there's ups and downs in seasons. Uh, you have to learn from your mistakes. The preparation of practice is so important uh, throughout the games, throughout the season. And another big thing is to have a short-term memory, whether that be shift to shift, game to game, um, good or bad, you have to take, the, take what happened um, and, and forget about it and move on. I thought about it hard and long about coming back this year, retiring. Uh, I just had so much fun last year. The guys are so great, the coaching staff, uh, the fans here, I, I mean, throughout the regular season, we saw a lot of games, and then the playoffs, it's just bumping. 
it's just an all-around good atmosphere, great run organization. Uh, everybody here is so supportive of us. Uh, to be able to get that championship would be awesome.